It's said to be the apocalypse, the so-called end of the world, and some have gone as far as to set a date. But not everyone is buying it. We sent our Kate Kravanek out today to get a feel for what folks are saying about this prediction. She's live now with this. Kate? I had the streets looking for answers today after some concerned calls into our newsroom. People telling me they're very upset by these Judgment Day billboards that claim the Bible guarantees May 21st is the end. Thirsty? Need a vacation? You've probably seen these billboards hundreds of times. But how about this one? Judgment Day, May 21st. The Bible guarantees it. That's just over a month away. It's an advertisement tool. It shouldn't be used to scare the bejeebers out of, especially young people with children. Barbara Lubis called the WJAC newsroom angered and looking for answers. I took her questions and concerns to a man who has dedicated his life to following the Bible. If you are uh, looking for retirement and you're 18 years old, uh, put some money back. Father James Crookston, pastor at St. John Galbert Cathedral Parish, assured me we've got time. Actually, the Christian church came to the conclusion that uh, it's a long way off, and we need to live Jesus' way. As for living in fear of May 21st? Well, you should worry about following God's way. You should be anxious about that, but know that God's helping you, and, and not to think that the total imminent end of the world is uh, going to happen uh, before June. Lubis told me what really upsets her most about the message on these billboards is that somebody's making a buck on doomsday. There's no date in that Bible that says when the world's going to come to an end. Lubis did find some consolation in the possibility of May 21st being the end of days. She says at least then we wouldn't have to worry about the potential government shutdown. Reporting live, Kate Kravanek, WJC-TV News.